So we've seen that uh, all members of a set class have the same uh, interval class vector. So for example, if I take tetrachord 0, 1, 2, 3, um, all members of this tetrachord will have the interval class vector 3, 2, 1, 0, 0, 0, because when we transpose or invert the uh, set class, the pitch class sets, uh, we don't change the intervals between the different pitch classes. However, the opposite is not always uh, a requirement, meaning that we can have two different uh, set classes that are not related by transposition or inversion that do have the same interval class vector. And I uh, marked here these two, 0137, you see the interval class vector is 111111, and 0146 also has the same interval class vector 111111, and this is called the all interval tetrachord. And there are two all interval tetrachords, and they are quite interesting to composers because they each one of them has one of each possible interval class and only once. Uh, this is where the fourth numbers can come very handy to find these quickly. You notice that in the fourth number, these are not regular numbers like 4, 1, 4, 2, 4, 4, but rather 4Z29 and 4Z15. So when you see a set class that has Z in the fourth number, you know that that set class has an, a Z correspondent, meaning another set class that has the same interval class vector, but is not related to this set class by transposition or inversion. So in this case, again, the all interval tetrachords are 0137, 0146, 4 Z29, and 4 Z15. Uh, there are obviously other sets like that. If we look at the other side here, we see that 8 Z29 and 8 Z15 are also related, uh, Z related, so they are Z correspondents of each other. If we uh, go to other size of set classes, you might start spotting uh, these Z-related set classes. So what you want to do is you want to look for a set class that has the same, that has a Z in its uh, fourth number and has the same interval class vector. In this case, it is 5Z12 and 5Z36. 01247 and on 01356.